This is the beta prototype of my portable environmental monitor. This is a rugged aluminium uh, enclosure that can fit your, the palm of your hand. Uh, you can see it has some holes. Uh, this is for the dust sensor. On the back it's the air quality sensor, the BMP 184 pressure and temperature. Yeah, this one's pretty ambitious. This, this is maybe one of the most ambitious ones because it relies on this large network of sensors. And so, yeah, if you distribute all these sensors, you can make a map of, you know, pollution events and that sort of thing. And uh, it sounds pretty cool. I, I think that having that sort of data available would be very useful for a lot of folks. Backed with powerful sensors capable of detecting both the chemical and the physical harmful factors, Europe Monitor is an example of a complex piece of technology driven by motivation to help people solve the pollution problem. Uh, you could have like real-time environmental information everywhere, which as, as far as um, environmental interests are concerned, that's the holy grail. What's going on over there? What data do we have from this? I mean, it removes politics entirely from the, the environmental equation because you've got the numbers and everyone can see them there's no arguing so like i said before the best product was something new that we tried this year the core to doing this was that the people who entered the best product round they gave us three versions of their product. We got 33 products in the first round of this. That's a lot of people who are able, were able to take their product and make it into work three times. So there were four people from the Happy Day staff that tested the first round before we brought it, let, excuse me, sent it on to Lenore Rizal and Seven out of 10 You know, I, I think the thing is, in, in this age of hardware passion, everyone really needs to be a, uh, everyone really needs to learn the role of product engineer. And I think this is a really important initiative to get people to start thinking that way. Thinking about making things that last and taking stuff from being a prototype and making something that works once into working more than once and over and over again so that everybody can enjoy it. Thank you. Is here. He's taking pictures, snuggling guys. Yeah, yeah, he's right there. Who else we got? We have room, more room. <laughs> Anyone who worked on the prize, come on up. <laughs> Matt, Matt, Matt. Hey, Matt, what, Matt are you doing? what are you doing? Get up here. <laughs> Hurry up, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Matt likes to make an entrance. Where's Rich? 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 He's making the photo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Cool. Woo! Woo! Thank you very much. I'm the judges. Okay. And also then food. Then food. Okay. One more thank you. I want to say thank you one more time to Supply Frame for this amazing party and for the five sponsors for sponsoring the Hackaday Prize and believing in this and believing in us. Thank you also to the judges.